there is a new AI tool I want to show you which you can use it to transform your 3D models or sketches into realistic views like these ones. You don't need to download or install anything to use. You can even use it on your phone. And one of the best part is it is super fast and completely free to use. After my this video, many people wanted to try this sketch to render workflow for their projects. But since the installation process of Stable Diffusion is not as straightforward as other applications, many people had problems using it. Then I came across the Prom AI. Prom AI is a new addition to the Cutout Pro website. You probably already heard about Cutout Pro. They offer various kind of services like image and video background removal. And now they added this new AI tool as an additional platform to their existing list of apps. It is an AI powered web application that offers various services like sketch to render, erase and replace, and background diffusion. When you first open, we have three main available features to select from and they have two more upcoming ones like the outpainting version. But I think most of you will probably be interested more in the sketch rendering mode. There are lots of ready to use templates according to the material you want to use as a reference. For example, interior and exterior drawings, product design sketches, anime character drawings or directly into real photos. I will first try it with this building sketch. I simply upload my drawing to this box and once is uploaded I have multiple different process option I can choose from like realistic precise animation concept and fantasy if you want to use one of these options you can just choose one or leave it at none and in this box I can write my prompt to describe my image but like stable diffusion we don't need to add many enhancer keywords to specify what we are trying to do like realistic view high quality image or photo because we can already specify them with ready presets for the first try I will not type anything and just hit generate and it's pretty nice to see how your sketch would look like in real life with realistic materials and lighting and the first results are pretty close to my initial drawing if you hover over this small circle you can switch between your drawing and the final generated image to compare between them now i will type a simple prompt to specify some materials and the time of the day to set up a scene and change the scenario type to architecture realistic sketch i will type timber building design green building city center people walking and golden hour view you can see the generation speed in this one this is the real time speed so it is pretty fast for a free web based application we can quickly generate many different design alternatives with different materials and more or less to see how they would look like in different kinds of atmospheres and the time of the day then i added a modern preset style to see how it will affect the image and this is the version i got so feel free to test all of the different options to find a nice one that fits your taste after the exterior sketch i want to test it out with an interior one so i will change the scenario type interior sketch and upload my drawing for the prompt i will simply describe the overall material i want to use in this space I actually want to add a window on the top part of the wall but because I said skylight window it added to this part which looks pretty interesting I think and the light coming from the window looks pretty real and adds a really nice touch with the soft light and shadow effects so I like this one but I want to edit the roof part to have a solid surface without these tiny openings. I can use erase and replace feature for this and the workflow is pretty easy once you like one of the versions you generated from the three dots icon on the top right part you can choose three different options to continue with I can either choose the erase and replace option to change some parts I don't like or I can use it to add some extra elements on top of my design if I like the overall volume and the style of the image but I want to generate alternatives I can send this image back to sketch rendering or lastly I can use use background division to change the background for my object which you can use for mostly product photography for this one I will click to erase and replace and my image will be directly sent to in painting mode we have the controls here on the left side and after I change my Right size I will paint this area and type timber roof and it generate and for the erase and replace and background diffusion options it generates three different options at once which I think it's really nice to see different options quickly you can freely download the first option for each generation with 512 to 512 pixel size and with the premium membership you can of course download all the options with 1024 by 1024 size or with the premium version you can use HD 
repaint option to upscale our images by two times. This version is quite nice with the solid timber planks. We all love Mid Journey for image generation because of the overall quality and the level of creativity. But when it comes to the generating realistic versions of your drawings, it is not quite possible to achieve that because it takes your images as input and uses as a reference material. So the final image won't be really close to your original design. I can't say it is impossible, but it is really not a straightforward process. That's why I want to share as an alternative for you to generate images and transform your drawings or images into something new or realistic versions. You don't even have to create an account. You can generate unlimited number of images and to download these images you generated, you should create a free account. They also offer premium memberships. You can check their subscription options for higher resolution and quality image generation in this part. I want to test out another interior living room view with the interior realistic scenario and this is the first generation I got without any additional prompts. Then I generated with morning sunlight which added this beautiful sun rays filling the room and I think it looks pretty cool overall without the cactus. And I have experimented with many different styles and various descriptions. Here you can see all of them with the styles I used. After the architectural sketches and interior design alternatives, I want to use the product furniture option to create design alternatives over this drawing. I will use this volumetric conceptual sketch and try to apply different kinds of materials to see which one will be a better fit for this design. I tested out with different materials such as glass, timber and steel. You can see the first alternatives I got here and it mostly did a pretty good job of keeping the overall volume and the shape the same as my sketch. In some of the options it generates some alternative design options for the back part of the chair and I generated a last option with orange plastic material which turned out to be really good and you can see some of the options I like the most. I think they focus more on architecture, interior and product design scenarios but it is also possible to find options for character design and manga characters. Even if you don't see the options you are looking for, I got pretty nice result with the general option. For example, for this cute monster sketch, I want to transform it to a cute Disney animation character. You can see the different generations I created for this monster with different styles and I think the fantasy option was the one of the best ones for this type of drawings. At least that's one I like the most. You can try different options to find something close to the image in your mind. For some of the images I get, I quickly fix some parts I didn't like with the erase and replace option and here are the final versions for this monster. Actually I was planning to end this video with monster sketch but then I want to test out how it works directly with photos. Since it's very easy to use as a web application, I thought I could also test it directly on my phone too. So I took a picture of this empty store and wanted to see how it would look like as a flower shop. I quickly generated a couple of options and chose the one I liked the most. Then I sent that one to in painting mode and regenerated these problematic parts. And here are some of the images. You can see how easy it is to use even on your mobile phone. You can use this to generate quick ideas for your projects. Of course it's not only for building facades, you can use it for basically anything like portrait images or selfies, product photos or interior room images. So what do you think about this app? I think it's a really nice option for people who just want to create alternatives for their design or visualize their product drawings in real life with real materials. And Promaya kindly sponsored this video. They will provide 10 free credits to 5 people from comments of this video for cutout pro website so if you are interested let me know what you think about it in the comments down below i think that it's a really useful platform for quick generations of your design and drawings so it's completely worth to give it a try please let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to mention if you're interested with the free credits and if you like this video feel free to check this one too and see you in the next one